Hi, everybody. I know that many of you may have a strong opinion about TikTok and TikTokers. Maybe some of you are TikTokers. Maybe your brother or sister is, your son or daughter. Maybe you're anti-TikTok, thinking or hoping that it will be just a passing fad. Or perhaps just, you just hate TikTok and TikTokers. I don't know, maybe some of you are just watching passively. I just hope that with my talk, I will give you an understanding of why I do what I do and how to be more open to this platform and its creators. So, right now, if you think of a TikToker, you see a Gen Z teenager, physically beautiful, narcissistic, who makes cringe videos to be acclaimed by the public. A superficial activity, without anything real or interesting. And you know, many Gen Z do it for fun, for their friends, or just to get attention. And if this is how you think that TikTok is, you are right. <laughs> I agree with you. As a TikToker, I can tell you that this is exactly how it is in most cases. Then, as we all know, there is a group of these TikTokers who use trends and their beauty to earn a ton of money. But then, then there is me. There are also young people like me who have a different idea. We have a bigger plan in our minds, and we use TikTok because we realized how important it is nowadays to have a fan base on social media if you want to pursue an artistic career. We are going to use TikTok because we want something from it, something bigger. So let me introduce myself. I'm Alessandro Bedetti. I'm 18 years old, and I wanted to be an actor for as long as I can even remember. And in 2020, when the world shut down, I found an opportunity to work to achieve my goals. And that opportunity for me was TikTok. But let me explain. So I started making TikToks during my first quarantine. I had a lot of time for myself because, you know, I couldn't go out. And I had nothing to do all day except for the five hours of online school. So I wanted to find a hobby and something fun to do. Yes, I started just for fun, but still committing myself because I knew that that fun thing to do could become also something really important for me. But at the beginning, it was just a way to pass my time. So I started making three videos per day and realized that what I was doing was helping me with some skills that I will need to be an actor. For example, how to be less shy and introverted, dealing with the challenge of being more exposed to friends, classmates, and others, and most importantly, how to play a role and be characters that are outside of my own personality. And after the first two weeks of no results, something started to move. Videos started to go viral, and then boom, everything happened quickly. I started getting something like 5,000 followers a day, then 10,000, then 15, then even 30,000 followers per day. And, you know, at the beginning, I thought that if I put my mind into it, I could get to something like maybe 7,000 followers by the end of the lockdown. Well, I came out of it with 300,000. And I'm telling you this because one of the coolest aspects about TikTok is the chances it gives users to its algorithm for incredible visibility tied to an easy metric like quantity. So the more you do, the more you can be seen by new people. And you know, after the first 300,000 followers that fast became 1.4 million, the perception of what I wanted from TikTok really changed. You know, I started realizing that what I was doing could help me realize my life dream of being an actor. And TikTok created a real-world opportunity for me, and from that moment, I started making videos that could give me more visibility. You know, because I started to see the power of creating a follower base with content that my followers love. You see, while 1.4 million followers is just a good number for Western markets, I see my follower not as a number, but my team. I add value for them with content that they like and they love, and they are there for me when I need them to. They are not numbers.
They are my team. They are my super network. So at some point, I started uh, studying trends and new sounds in a more technical way. Okay? So you see, making a TikTok sounds easy. And it is. If you know how to use the right pattern, so please let me show you. Right now, I'm going to replicate for you a clip that was quite successful for me a few months ago. It is a TikTok that makes fun of TikTokers and how they look to others while they're filming a clip. Okay? It is based on a TikTok dance that goes like this. Okay? And so it will be good for me to show you this sarcastic look at what my cat sees while I'm filming a TikTok dance. Let's go. So it will be cringe, as I said. Get ready for that. It will be really embarrassing for me. There will be something like eight uh, clips, and four of them are going to be the funny one, the cat perspective, and the others are going to be the real serious one. OK, so let's start with the serious one. OK. OK, let's change to cat perspective. So I'm going to look there, pretending uh -huh. that there is the phone. <laughs> Sorry for the cringe part of it. Serious one. OK. Cringe one. Okay. Serious. Okay, and this one is the most cringe one, so please help me. Bye. <sighs> bye, bye. Almost done. Just a few more clips. Last one, I promise. <laughs> and that's it, okay? Woo. And this is the final result. <laughs> okay. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Putting aside that fun, cringe, and stupid part of it for a second, let's get serious for a minute, OK? It is not a new concept to create your own business network when you're young by going to the right schools, having the right classmates, having going to the right dinners and parties, having the right friends and contacts, and meeting friends of friends. Yes, this is what a business network has always looked like. And yes, this is still valuable today. But in 2021, there is a new way to create a business network for Gen Z. A new superpower in networking, and this superpower is your TikTok base. The people that follow you on social media today are the same people that when you need support will help you, okay? When you need visibility for what you're doing, they are the ones that will help you get it and get seen by the world. I am going to need the people that follow me on social media today in my future acting career. As will any aspiring actor or actress or musician or any other person who wants to live an artistic life. But why? Because in 2021, we live in a world where today you are somebody, and tomorrow nobody will remember you. As Andy Warhol said, everybody will be famous for 15 minutes. So, therefore, it's up to you to find the right way to prevent that from happening. And it doesn't matter whether it's Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, TikTok, or any other social media. The bottom line is that a social following is the new way. 
the new way, the new super way to create a business network that could help you develop your future career and your future itself. And now I share with you my mind, the mind of a TikToker. Now I hope that you can see that not all TikTokers are created equally and that we all have different goals, agendas and uses for our new superpower network. The idea we're sharing is that a prejudice that you may feel toward a new social platform, a new technology, or even a new generation of people is that not everything is as it looks in the surface. You know, I'm just a guy, okay? A guy with one dream, only one dream, being an actor. And I'm ready to do whatever it takes to make this dream come true. And thanks to what I'm doing, studying at an academy, and what I'm doing on social media and TikTok, I'm helping myself developing my future. And even if I didn't realize it yet, my dream, you know, I'm living it. I'm Alessandro Bedetti, I'm 18 years old, and last year I had my first role in a TV miniseries, and right now I'm on the set of my first movie. So I just hope that next time you see me, it will be somewhere on a bigger screen. Thank you so much.